Hello friends, on a sunny Sunday morning, I was reading newspaper with a cup of hot tea. Suddenly my mobile phone rang. I had just come from the caller and that was one of my relatives. He had recently joined a job carrying a handsome salary package. He started speaking with me. He started sharing his own experiences with me. He told me that he is getting very handsome salary but not able to manage the fund properly. He said that he knows how to earn money but does not know how to go for proper financial planning. I am little worried about it and will not be able to manage future expenses. Can you help me out from this? Can you suggest something for the financial plan? He said hopefully. Lots of people only know how to earn money but do not know how to make a proper financial plan to get the benefits of it in future. What does financial plan exactly mean? Financial planning is defined as a comprehensive evaluation of uh, investors current and future financial state by using currently known variables to predict future cash flows, asset value and withdrawal plans. As per accounting terminology, it is the systematic estimate of cash inflows and outflows of an individual or an organization. Hello students, welcome to the important session of financial plan, meaning and characteristics of financial plan. In this topic, we will highlight concept of financial plan and its meaning and definition. Financial plan in the context of business, financial plans versus financial forecasts, financial planner and projection of financial plan. Financial planning and its scope and objectives, process and elements of financial plan objectives and characteristics of financial plan, consideration in formulating financial plan and nine components of complete financial plan. Let us learn about these points one by one. Meaning and definition of financial plan. The concept of financial plan is not new for us. In our day to day life, we make several financial plans knowingly or unknowingly. The concept of financial plan is defined as a comprehensive statement of individual's long-term objectives for security and well-being. It is also a statement of detailed saving and investing strategy for achieving those objectives. We can make our own financial plan by our own or with the help of a certified financial planner or financial advisor. In other words, a financial plan is a statement estimating the amount of required funds and determining its composition. The quantum of funds required will depend upon the requirements of an individual. The next aspect of a financial plan is to determine the pattern of financing. There are a number of sources of rising funds. The selection of various securities should be done carefully. Financial plan in context of business. As far as business is concerned, a financial plan can refer to three primary financial statements which are balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement created within a business plan. A financial plan can also be an estimation of cash needs and a decision how to raise the cash such as through borrowing or issuing additional shares in company. I hope you have understood the concept of financial plan and its meaning and definition in detail. Financial planner. There is a person who may help you out to make your financial plan and that is called as financial planner. They are also called as financial advisor who consider all related aspects such as cash flow management, retirement planning, investment planning, financial risk management, insurance planning tax planning, estate planning and business succession planning. Financial plan versus financial forecast. There are two different concepts which are totally different from one other. It is a process of company's layout divided into several steps. It is a process of putting resource to work to generate maximum possible revenues. The financial plan covers every aspect of your financial life from investing to taxes to your outlook for retirement. However, financial forecast is a tool to manage working of capital and cash flow of a company. Financial forecasts are commonly reviewed and revised annually 
as a new information regarding assets and cost become available. Projection of financial plan. Projection of financial plan is a section of projecting the total operating expenses and product development. Financial planning. Financial planning is a tool to achieve strategic goals and objectives. Mostly, financial plans are made after the vision and statements are set. The financial plan of the company describes each of the activities, resources, equipment and materials that are needed to achieve these objectives as well as the time frames involved. The financial planning activity involves these tasks. Assess the business environment, confirm the business vision and objectives, identify the type of resources needed to achieve these objectives, quantify the amount of resources that is labor, equipment and materials, calculate the total cost of each type of resource, summarize the cost to create a budget, identify any risk and issues with the budget set. Scope of financial planning. The financial plan covers various areas. The scope of planning would usually include risk management and insurance planning, investment planning issues, retirement planning, tax planning, estate planning, cash flow and liability management. Steps in financial planning. Step number one, determine current financial situation. You may be a salaried person, a professional or a businessman. Check your current financial situation. Where are you now? Do you have enough saving and investment to back your aspirations? Is your salary enough to pursue your personal and financial aspirations? Are you able to manage your home loans and personal loan responsibilities? Ask these questions to yourself. Be very clear and honest about your current financial situation. Step number two, develop your financial goals. What financial goals do you want to achieve? Retirement at 50, be debt free at 40, want to invest in a second home, want to go abroad for further studies, want to send your children abroad for further studies, daughter's marriage, the list is endless. Where to start? Start with important goals first. That can give you financial independence. How about being debt free at 40? I know some people who are debt free at 35. It is possible and it needs a disciplined and systematic planning. Step number three, identify alternative courses of action. What alternative courses of action you can take to achieve your financial goals? I believe some actions like learning good saving habits, learning your relationship with money, living frugally and keeping positive mindsets are some of the ways that help you achieve your financial goals. Step number four, evaluate alternatives. Consider your current life situation, your personal values and economic factors. Also assess risk and time value of money for each alternative. Here you should check different products available in the market and select the best ones based on your need. You may need to do some changes in your lifestyle so that you achieve your financial and life goals that are close to your heart. Step number five, create and implement your financial action plan. Once you take all the five steps mentioned, you will get a clear idea about financial goals and what you need to do to achieve them. The key words are implementation and action. The plans remains on paper if you do not implement it. So take the first step and rest will adds. Step number six, review and revise the financial plan. As you go and implement your financial plan, you should revise your plan periodically every six months or whenever you achieve a milestone. This step is the last step in the financial planning process. Have you got this? Can I create my own financial plan? Yes, if you follow these steps, do a bit of calculation, you can create your own financial plan and you do not need to hire any financial advisor or planner for this. Objectives of financial plan. There are several objectives of financial plan. The main objectives of financial plan are 
First one, adequate funds. A financial plan would ensure the availability of sufficient funds to achieve enterprise goals. Balancing of cost and risk. There should be a balancing of costs and risk so as to protect the investors. Flexibility. A financial plan sh should ensure flexibility so as to adjust as per the requirements. It should be adjustable as per the changing conditions. Simplicity. The financial structure should not be complicated by issuing a variety of securities. The number of securities should be less so that it is easily understood. Long term view. A financial plan should take a long term view. The needs for fund in the near future and over a period should be considered while selecting pattern of financing. Liquidity. The liquidity of fund should always be kept in mind while preparing a financial plan. During period of depression, it is the liquidity which can keep a concern going. Point number 7. Optimum use. A financial plan should ensure sufficient funds for genuine needs. Neither the plans should suffer due to shortage of funds nor there be wasteful use of them. The fund should be put to their optimum use. Point number 8. Economy. The cost of raising the fund should be minimum. It should not impose disappropriate burden on the company. It can be insured by a proper debt equity mix. Characteristics of a sound financial plan. The main characteristics of a sound financial plan are number 1. Simplicity. A financial plan should be simple that it may be easily understood even by a layman. A complicated financial structure creates complications and confusion. Based on a clear cut objectives, financial planning should be done by keeping in view the overall objectives of the company. It should aim to procure funds at the lowest cost so that profitability of the business is improved. Number three, less dependence on outside sources. A long term financial planning should aim to reduce dependence on outside sources. This may be possibly retaining a part of profits for plugging back. Point number four, flexibility. The financial plan should not be rigid. It should allow scope for adjustments as and when new situation emerge. For example, if your plan is not working, then you should execute plan B. Point number five, solvency and liquidity. Financial planning should ensure solvency and liquidity of the enterprise. Solvency requires that short term and long term payments should be made on the dates when these are due. This will ensure credit worthiness and goodwill to the concern. Point number six, cost. The cost of raising capital is an important consideration in selecting a financial plan. The selection of various sources should be such that the cost burden should be less. Point number seven, that is profitability. A financial plan should adjust various securities in such a way that profitability of the enterprise is not adversely affected. Consideration in formulating financial plan. A financial plan should be carefully determined. It has long term impact on the working of the enterprise. These variables should be kept in the mind while selecting a financial plan. Point number one, nature of the industry. The needs for the funds are different for various industries. These variables will influence determining the size and structure of financial requirements. Standing of the concern. The standing of a concern will influence a decision about financial plan. The goodwill of the concern, credit rating in the market, past performance, attitude of the management is some of the factors which will be considered in formulating a financial plan. Future plans. The future plan of a concern should be considered while formulating a financial plan. The plans for expansion and diversification in near future will require a flexible financial plan. Point number four, ability of sources. There are number of sources from which funds can be raised. The pros and cons of all those available sources should be properly discussed for taking a final decision on the sources. Point number five, general economic conditions. These conditions should be considered before taking any decision about sources of funds. A favorable economic environment 
will help in raising funds without any difficulty. Point number six, government control, the legislative restriction on using certain sources, limiting dividend and interest rates, etc., will make it difficult to raise funds. So, government controls should be properly considered while selecting a financial plan. I hope you have understood this. Now, let us see nine components of a complete financial plan. There are nine components of a complete financial plan. These are adequate insurance, adequate contingency fund, know your risk profile, know your investment objective, create a return strategy, balanced asset allocation and diversify your investment. Rebalance periodically, ignore market noise. Conclusion, financial plan and financial planning are the most important parts of everybody's life. Financial planning gives you clarity in life, provides direction and meaning to your financial decisions. Importance of financial planning can be understood from the statement, I am just concentrating on the financial plan, you have advised me, I am relaxed, I have no anxieties and I am having a peaceful sleep, I am confident that we will be able to maintain our current standard of living after retirement also. Of course, it is not possible to predict the future, but a sound financial plan will help you and your loved ones to tide over the good and bad. Thank you.